Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we're playing Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Um, last episode, I had updated to uh, Alpha 4, and just now there was a hotfix, so I'm going to go over uh, the all of the changes that have taken place. Uh, we will start with... Where where is the Okay, this is all hotfix stuff. We will start with the Alpha 4 update from last week. So there is two new base model ships, Bismarck and Hood. That'll be that'll be cool. Uh improved damage decals. Uh we will be able to tell what gets damaged a lot better. New secondary gun barbettes. Um, yeah. And there are new Naval Academy missions. And just to let you know, for this episode, we're going to be doing this one. Design your own H-Class. And we're going to be using all the things... Old mission improvements. Several new gun models added and various hull fixes. Also, controls. We can now set specific targets for main guns, secondary guns, and torpedoes. All weapons with the right click. Torpedoes only with shift right click. Secondaries only with Alt right click. Main guns only with Shift Alt right click. So I'm going to have to remember these because, well, our H class will definitely have a lot of secondaries. A lot of powerful secondaries at that. And they'll probably come in handy. Also, weapon fire mode is now working per division, not per ship. So, in the previous episodes with torpedo squadrons, where or with torpedo boat squadrons, where I had to tell each individual ship to save their torpedoes for high probability hits, now I can do it with the whole division. And then there's some balance and inconsistency fixes. Now, let's head to the hotfix that I just downloaded. Increased damage of main guns. So that's good. Reduced base accuracy for secondary guns. That's not so good. Flooding should happen more often when guns hit underwater sections. Flooding will not be repaired so fast and it will have a noticeable impact on large capital ships. Torpedoes got a buff, a damage buff. And torpedo protection effect reduced slightly so that late battleships do not become immune, which is a plus for enemy battleships, not so much for ours. Increased base speed of torpedoes, that's nice. Speed penalty from... Ah, electric torpedoes are a little bit faster. Weight issues have been fixed a little bit. Fixed an issue with German battle cruisers. Fixed issues that made torpedo boats either too slow or too vulnerable to gunfire. That will probably help with the torpedo boat uh, mission that I'm having a little bit of trouble with. 
Fix a problem with a British battleship in the 1920s that made its hull too too long. I was about to say strong. Allocated more funds to mission hurry up. AI gun and targeting improvement and other minor fixes. So, let's g jump right in to... It's probably down at the bottom. Yep, all the way at the bottom. Design your own H-Class. I think we're going to boost the technology, although an extra... Ooh. This almost doubles the amount of money that we have. Oh, what to choose. Although, 180 million isn't bad. Let's try boosting the technology first. And our maximum displacement is 130,000 tons. Holy shit. Go ahead and get the Krupp 4 selected. Look at all that weight. Very minor differences between Super Battleship 1 and 2. Most notably, um, actually, well, I guess the biggest difference is the turning slowdown. Oh yeah, and the displacement. Super Battleship 1 only has a maximum of 105,000 tons. I guess balanced? Absolute best propulsion that we can get. Of course, I do need to be careful. We are already at 55% of our maximum of 180 million. But this thing is going to be absolute best protection that we can afford. Why does Citadel 5 reduce the resistance compared to Citadel 4? But the armor strength jumps up. Oh, I'm not sure. Let's try, uh, let's go to Citadel 5 for now. Man, this is expensive. Can we put torpedo launchers? We sure the hell can. Neat. Not sure where I'm going to put this. Very short range, of course. Uber funnel. <laughs> Just the one, huh? Okay. Main guns. We can go all the way up to 18. And keeping with the German design. Uh, wow, we can put that there. How far forward? That far forward.
I'm gonna have the absolute best firing arcs possible. Oh, right. We have, uh... Barbette for secondaries. I'm not sure where we can actually put this. Huh. Doesn't look like we can put it anywhere. The only spot is right here with the modern secondary tower. Alright. How about tall barbet? Nope. Is that a centerline only thing? Shouldn't be. Alright. Secondary guns. Can we put any 8 inchers anywhere? Technically. That is a very limited range of uh, rotation there. How about triple barrels? Is that... doesn't really seem to change. Single barrel? Let's go back. Get, uh... Well, that just doesn't change anything at all, does it? Could totally put a secondary gun here. But why would I? I doubt that it'll let me put anything here. Just a question of curiosity. No, it does not fire over the secondaries. Hmm. Let's get some twin barreled. Oh, I can put these out a lot farther than inside of. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, we'll end up with a much better uh, rearward firing arc doing this. And there's only one spot here for that. I guess that's okay. There we go. Now, what can we put here? Because it doesn't look like it'll let us put 6-inch guns here. 5-inch? Um, yes, we can put 5 inches here. Can we make those triples? We sure can. Wow, this will be a very powerful secondary battery. can I put one of these? I mean, I could put one here, but that's going to overlap with the arcs of fire for these uh, six-inch guns. I think we're okay with uh, 12 5 inch guns on one side. Definitely. I don't suppose. Nope. No casemates. Ha! 
high TNT. Ooh, that's our cost. That is all of our cost. I might have to do... Because I haven't even gone into reload or... Uh... Reload or turret traverse. Although I'm getting the feeling that, well, we saved 3% with our cost. That doesn't really... Yep, 102. Alright, I will have to save some money somewhere. Probably with Citadel. Yeah, that saved us a good amount. And dropping the weight. Okay. Well, let's let's try and get a I don't know a quad torpedo launcher with I get twenty twenty four inch torpedoes. in the front. Mm. Let, let me put it elsewhere. very sure where to put it. Okay, I guess right here is okay enough. I would have liked to have put it a little bit closer to this, because I think... Oh. Right there, come on. That works. That doesn't work. Actually, let's mess with the <coughs> the armor. And we can only go 18 inch belt. Hmm. I will have to save some money somewhere. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, this guy just got a lot shorter. remove these and uh, 
see how much farther we can... Okay, that is the farthest forward that we can go. Man, this range of fire is horrible. Well, we've still got our 5-inch triples. Hmm. And screw it. Let's go triples for the six inch secondaries as well. Come on. I do want a, a as good a an arc of fire for these secondaries as I can get. I don't suppose I can. Well, I can. Okay. That really. Oh no, it doesn't. I've got no room in the back here, though. Well, going up to 112 really improves things. Ah, uh, funnels. Where's my funnels? Oh, wait. Um, don't need that one anymore. Ah, stop doing that. Let's just watch me do this. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure this is riveting gameplay. <laughs> well, we've got... Alright, all of the 6-inch gone. Good. Good. 
And yeah, we'll go ahead and get triples again. funnel of course das uber funnel okay that is quite the secondary battery and I ended up getting rid of the torpedo launcher seems to be a decent place to put it. Only minimally affects the two middle triple six inch guns. And we'll just go with standard torpedoes. Oh, right. Range finder. RDF, Generation 2 radar, and that is expensive as fuck. I need to drop 7%. Somehow, somewhere. Oh, 1100% shell cost. Let's 850, 650. Well, that dropped a percentage. Tube powder? And gun reload time. Hmm. Well, semi auto reloading. What about electrical turrets? And that's a ten percent turret traverse speed lost. And it didn't do anything, so we're gonna put electric electro hydro back on the menu. Krupp 3 armor? Yes. We can go down to Krupp 3. I'm still not sure about... Hmm. Uh, main guns. These guns will penetrate almost 70 inches of armor at a thousand meters. Jesus. Huh. Maybe you go down to... Oh, 
Anti-Torp 4. Get a little bit more armor. Oop, 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 too much. Twenty two inch belt. That's an odd number. I'm keeping the rest of that. Oh. Yeah. Okay, 23 and a half inch belt. That seems fine. Um, secondaries should be okay-ish. Alright, 6.8 inch secondary. Turrets, though... Shit. Yeah, keep going. Sixteen, in sixteen inch seems fine. Twenty four inch belt now. Seven inch secondary armor. All right, let's put this fucking behemoth in the water. <laughs> and I've already forgotten. Okay, Alt or Shift or right click. Only took 33 minutes to design this. <laughs> Shit. And enemy smoke spotted to the north. Our RPF, uh, our radio position finding, is pointing slightly like north northeast. This takes a while to turn the rudder. And holy crap, we have a times 30. I... What are you firing at? What? Ah. All right, let's turn a bit to port and we can get our rear turrets going off. I don't even see anything yet. I guess times five until we can actually spot something. How far away can my secondaries shoot? Twelve and a half kilometers, it seems. It's over there, whatever it is. Hey, we spotted something. Not sure what the hell it is. Man, these guns are firing fast.
That's warship. Okay. And our torpedoes have already been destroyed. Started a fire on whatever this warship is. Alright, let's drop down to times three. That's a battleship. Okay, so was it shift alt right click? And was it shift right click? Let's watch these secondaries do their work. Holy shit. Okay, shift. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll keep. We'll keep hitting this guy until he goes down. Which should be right now. No, no, no. Shift, right click. And what do we have? The Rhode Island with 15 inch guns, 8 inch secondaries, 5 inch secondaries, 2 inch secondaries. We've got some other things over here. Oh, those are torpedoes! Hmm. I missed that. And those are more torpedoes. Even more torpedoes. But looks like we dodged those. Well, we are not spotting these things very far out at all. And the porter is going down very soon, question mark? Yes. Okay, let's... Alright. Shift right click. And... Alt right click. Maybe we can get a torpedo launching. Shift alt right click. Continue to... Put your main battery on the in Rhode Island right in front of you. Oh, they've got torpedoes. Ammo detonation? Oh, no. I don't think we've, we're, we've done very well. And here comes a torpedo. 
several torpedoes. And we went down. Well. This didn't go very well. So what can we change? The secondaries actually did a lot of damage. Um, let's see if we can make the bottom most triple barrel. And we need to save 1% for cost. So if that's the case... Well, there's a percentage right there. Maybe... Hmm. Okay. We can put that into uh, more armor. Or the... Yeah, more armor. Seven inch deck. Yeah, 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 we're, we're good with that. Let's try it again, and this will be the last attempt for the episode. Ooh, North Carolina class heavy cruiser, huh? Oh, battle cruiser, right. They are over this way? Yes, they are over this way. So let's... Man, you take a while to turn. Oh, we're already firing at something. That's a lot of firepower. I wonder if I could have gone with 17-inch guns. Maybe I should have gone with more shells. Okay, over this way. Started a fire. Awesome. I still can't see anything. Started another fire. You assholes. We are slowing down from ten times speed. You are given five hours of battle time. Well then.
Already done significant uh, structural damage to this battle cruiser. Maybe it's a battle cruiser. Of course, with super heavy shells. 63% identified. Nowhere close to uh, getting in torpedo or secondary range. Alright. Zero pin. This armor, it seems to be doing a really good job. It's mostly, you know, superstructure that's getting the shaft. Alright, was it shift? Right click, that was for the secondaries to focus. And there goes that one. Shift and Alt, because that's in range of the torpedoes. We haven't fired any torpedoes yet. Let me turn hard to, s to port. Because I can imagine there are definite... Jesus. There are definitely some torpedoes incoming. Um. Ooh, we barely missed those torpedoes. So who are our main guns firing on? got the Washington here. Fifteen inch guns and the Michigan here. Sixteen inch guns. I'm glad that uh, the main battery is putting shells on that. We're going to take two torpedoes right here. Alt. Or was it shift? I don't know. Looks like we're taking one more torpedo. Our rudder is damaged. Lassen should be going down. 
Maybe we can still turn with a rudder damaged? That would be pleasant. Yay! There goes the... Looks like they've got one more destroyer somewhere. I guess it's this guy? Taking more torpedoes. And more torpedoes incoming. That rudder is still damaged. I'd love to know when that gets repaired. Taking three torpedoes. I'm about to just straight up right click on this Washington. As a matter of fact, yeah. Focus all your efforts on the Washington. He is like stupid close. 5.3 kilometers. We're Doing a lot better this time. I'm not sure what the, uh... Oh yes, torpedoes. Yeah, I'm not doing so well. Again. But, hopefully, Washington here doesn't do so well either. Fifteen and a half inch, so our belt armor is almost double the thickness of the Washington. Looks like our torpedoes are not going to hit. Didn't I put a quad on there? I only see three of them. Oh, well. We always seem to get too close. I think I need to stay at range and not actually try to put my, my secondaries on. So next time we will definitely be doing that. Although I could try more funds next time as well. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try that again in the next episode. And I look forward to seeing what your tips for the next episode are gonna be in the comment section. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode, by the way. Feel free to leave a comment please. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.